Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and in this one, talking about La Loon deployment, how many loons to drop on each defense, how that should be related to where the spells go, um, because there's a lot of misconceptions about how to drop loons. You know, sometimes it's just, okay, three for the Archer Tower, three for the Cannon, three for the Wizard Tower, but there should be a little bit more deeper thought in terms of where are these loons going to go after they take out the first defense, the second defense, what's the overall um, vision for the attack, and that does definitely affect how you drop your loons. So we're going to take a look at some nice attacks by both sides. This is a good chance to show some of Gunma Samurai's nice attacks. This was the uh, first round of the playoffs, the knockout round. Unfortunately, we lost. Um, at the end of the video, I'll show some uh, basically how it happened, the end of the war, if you're interested. Um, but for those of you just looking to see today's topic, I'll go ahead and get to that now, and I'll save some comments for the end of the video um, if, so you can stick around and watch that if you're interested. So this one was a very, very nice La Luna attack. Um, one of the, 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 one of the, I've seen a lot of attacks, but one of the better attacks for sure that I've seen. So basically he's doing a Suicide Queen down at six here. We're gonna create the funnel and get some defenses taken out. Then he's gonna go in with the, the Valks, the King, and bite off just a small piece, two arrow defenses and the Queen, but it's right there accessible. So uh, pretty good base identification able to get um, not just air defenses in Queen, but also um, those air targeting defenses, Archer Tower, Wizard Tower, uh, Expo, I think two Archer Towers actually. So the value is definitely there. Nothing too complicated about this attack. It drops the jump to connect everything that he wants. There's the Valks and here's the Rage in just a moment. I'm gonna bite off a good piece of the base here, but We'll stick around and wait for the La Loon. That's the main focus here. So the CC comes out. He has an archer he puts up top to draw the hound away so it's not an issue for cleanup. The king um, could have gone even farther, but there was nowhere for him to go, so he'll die right there. But here come the loons, and when you look at what's left up on the base, you can see the pathing is very nice. It's uh, um, The balloons aren't going to have to double back. It's very straightforward through the base. Um, drops the hastes ahead of time, which is a good thing to do. Get those hastes down before, because they do last long enough. And here's the La Loon. Okay, so about five loons, about three loons, two, three, just spreading them all out. But notice how he's going heavy, especially right at the six o'clock here, because there's going to be the pathing from the Archer Tower to the Wizard Tower, and then into the Expo eventually. He has to make sure he's strong at six o'clock, because if he's not, What'll happen is um, if this wizard tower or this expo is left up, the loons as they move through will be forced to split, which you don't want to have happen. Some go to the inferno, some go back this way. Um, you want your loons moving through in a wave as efficiently as possible. If some have to double back and clean up what the others didn't, then you're in trouble. So he definitely goes heavy at six o'clock to try to get um, the sweeper, try to get this little core part taken out because he wants to push the rest of his loons into that Inferno Tower. So he wants to get this taken out first. Now the pathing, the sweeper, does complicate that a little bit. You can see he even drops a haste right on top of the Expo, um, gets what he wanted, and then they're actually going to cut across the middle of the base here, which works out even better. Now, um, I don't believe he necessarily thought they'd cut across the middle, but it actually works out because he has enough loons to take out the Inferno. Um, you may have missed it, the group up top here for that air defense, Gets them in very early. There's no point waiting. This way he takes out that part of the top of the base. So the loons from the Inferno and from the core just cut straight across instead of going up top. So a lot of what your additional loons are going to do is they're going to uh, push the loons that are already inside the base across the core at a sharper angle. Um, if your loons go on too much of a detour, it's it's gonna be inefficient and you're gonna to take too much damage. So loons that you add to the base should push the ones already in the base on a shorter angle, uh, shorter path to the rest of the defenses. So don't, don't wait till loons are already at a location to drop loons at that location. Do it so, it time, so you can time it so the loons uh, push the other ones in the direction you want them to go. And definitely go very heavy at the beginning because you want to make sure that the loons that are on the edge get the job done because the edge loons are so important. If they don't get the defenses taken out that they need to, what will happen is the loons will split, some will go towards the outside, some will continue along the path, and that's one of the worst things that can happen. So 
Moving on here to one of our attacks, we'll take a look at some Town Hall 9s now. Um, two Town Hall 9 attacks as well, so you guys can see both Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 examples of this. Um, this is Dax and again a Laloon and also a uh, Valk Laloon, so that was nice. Go ahead and fast forward through the kind of kill squad part. Go times two, I guess. Uh, Golem goes down, heroes. Um, <coughs> excuse me, a few Valks, and uh, the jump spell, of course, not using the Rage, just going to let the, the Queen sit back, uh, poison all those CC minions that he lured out with the Hog here, and then we'll slow down to times one speed as we approach the Laloon, uh, but the Queen's going to sit back. Unfortunately, she gets in that Town Hall before she does those point defense, so uh, he's not going to get quite as much value as he might have hoped from the Kill Squad, but he will get some pretty good value once he pops the Queen's ability in just a moment here. Um, yeah, he'll pop the ability as soon as she gets low. Yeah, there he goes. I believe she will get that expo taken out. Actually, you know, I don't, I don't think she will now that I look at it. Um, but here we go with the La Loon. Goes ahead and hastes a few loons in initially, then some more back here into those three defenses. Now with those initial loons, he's trying to get in there, get that air sweeper that is kind of a menace to this entire side of the base so he wants to get in there get the air sweeper and that's going to help path his loons around like this so sometimes if the base is really blocky you want to try to come really sharp at the base through one angle kind of cut a funnel for the rest of your loons so that's what he's doing unfortunately he doesn't get that air sweeper um, the scalies kind of take out his loons there now right here he's reinforcing um, typically in terms of where to go heavy Go heavy when you're going towards a wizard tower, expo. If there's a lot of HP, the loon drops, remember, aren't as powerful as they used to be. So you've got to make sure you have, you know, four loons for an expo wizard tower area. Otherwise, there's going to be a bit of a delay um, as they move through. But the reinforcements were good. He didn't go too heavy on the Tesla's archer towers, which you shouldn't. And then some great back end loons. Um, typically, for that kind of a congested area, you're going to need quite a few loons or at least have a haste spell to get in there on the back end and do some damage. Um, he was able to distract the wizard tower and get it lower on health. But if you're going to bring back end loons, either bring just one for like a wizard tower, just a tank, or bring a significant amount plus like a haste or something if you really want to get in there and do some damage. Uh, don't necessarily bring three or four loons and just kind of have them hover there by the back end wizard tower and just get taken out. Um, you kind of want to either go for it or not with those back end loons. In this case, he had a heal spell, so it didn't really matter much anyway. Troll Tesla in the corner, actually, but um, that'll do it for that attack. We do have one more, I believe. It is number 24. We have one of their Town Hall attacks. This was a very nice attack on a pretty weird base we threw at them. Um, you can see here uh, with the Grounded Expo and this Tesla farm on the outside, He's able to suicide his heroes and get pretty good value, get some of those Teslas taken out. Um, not great value, I think three Teslas um, for the price of his heroes. So that actually wasn't the uh, the biggest thing, but here, come, here comes the Laloon. He goes ahead and comes from the top here. And what you're gonna notice is a little bit of a tricky base because it's hard to get defensive targeting troops into this core, which he especially needs it to take out the queen. He needs stuff in there to tank the queen so he can drop the skelly. He needs those loons in there to get the expo uh, wizard tower, archer tower. So he starts on the outside going semi-heavy with loons. Not too heavy, but just enough to get these defenses taken out very quickly. The, um, the loons that are by these haste spells and the elixir storages, they took the haste, they cut across. He wants to get those first two air defenses taken out as soon as possible. Then the loons behind are going to cut into the middle along with an additional group he drops back by the CC. I think he had CC, I think it was a CC Hound, yeah, CC Hound, uh, but that's basically where he dropped the loons, rages them through, had the skelly to take out the queen, and then these nice hasted loons, almost like a Town Hall 11 dip dragon attack, where you haste in those loons into the corner air defenses on the back end of the base wasn't perfect. There was that one air defense left up that he didn't really have accounted for, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to get enough of the base taken out efficiently in order to get the three star. So something for that last air defense would have been nicer, but still crush this base, ton of loons, 
a uh, bunch of lava pups. Yeah, the hound's just going to kind of sit there, uh, but I think he has enough pups to outnumber the pups from the CC. Has an additional archer to drop, and uh, nice hit. So that's the basics, guys. Um, tried to kind of show some replays to, to give you guys examples of what you want to do, but uh, basically it comes down to thinking about how the loons are going to not just take out the first offense, but how they're going to path through the base, how they're going to affect other balloons uh, near them. So of course, general rules go higher on uh, in terms of numbers on balloons. They're going to encounter expos, uh, wizard towers, inferno towers. Definitely go higher in numbers on those groups. Um, for reinforcement loons, drop them uh, earlier rather than later. So they push the loons already inside the base across it instead of making those loons meet up at the outside. You want them to get there before the... the it, core loons are there so that way you're not going to waste time having your balloons go on like a uh, a weird like circular path around the base um, it's more efficient to have them be spread out and the reinforcement loons take out stuff on their own that's a big key um, the reinforcement balloons that you're dropping later on in the attack those are going to do take out defenses of their own. They're not meant just to meet up. They're meant to take out defenses before the loons in the core get there. So that's a big takeaway from this video. Um, anything else that I missed, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, other people can see that as well. Uh, give some advice down there if you have it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.